people to adult only events uh, at least once a month. A lot of them are birthday parties. Sometimes it's a uh, corporate type thing. Sometimes I actually just turn out to be a birthday party with nothing but adults. But I mean, like it's meant to be a child, but you know, I'm sure you've been to those events. Not a lot of kids show up, so you end up twisting balloons for adults. But I guess really, I'm going off track right there. I want to tell you how I handle an all adult event. First of all, I dress up in an adult costume or outfit. I don't go as a clown, I don't go as an entertainer like that. I have a tuxedo type outfit. If you don't have a tuxedo, go phone one of your local tuxedo stores. Ask them if you can buy a used tuxedo. All you need is you need the pants, you need the shirt, you need the bow tie, and you need a vest. Make sure it's kind of colorful if you can. And you know, you can get those quite cheaply. If you can't get them at your local tuxedo store, check out eBay. That's where I buy my shirts, my tuxedo shirts. I can't remember who I got them from. I just got five of them for about a hundred bucks delivered to my house. So that's a pretty good deal. Okay, so now you've got your outfit. A few things you have to know about adults, if you've never twisted balloons for adults, the men don't always want a balloon thing. Okay, so don't worry about the men. Worry about the ladies. That's just the women want stuff. But also you're going to need to make your, your bigger, your best stuff. Okay, uh, you know, I tend to spend about five to seven minutes per adult on their balloon things. Another thing you'll have to ask the adults, you know, if they, well, what would you like, you know, and if they don't know, then you're going to ask, you know, you're not going to tell them what you're going to make, because I never tell anybody what they're getting, unless, of course, they tell me exactly what they want, and they're very specific, and then you give them that. But, if it's an older lady, because it's an adult thing, you'll ask, well, is this for you, or is it for somebody else? Because a lot of times they want something and they're going to take it to two of their grandkids. So just make two regular type stuff for their grandkids. And then she gets to take it home. She gets to be the great grandmother who got balloon things for her grandkids. Um, another thing that I always keep an eye on is if it's a big, a big room, make sure if you give them, uh, you never give a woman something that you can also give a man. So one thing that I will sometimes give to men is I'll give them a monkey or I'll give them a monkey climbing a tree with bananas on it. Always add the extras when you're twisting for adults. But never, never, never give a woman a monkey climbing a tree with bananas. Because if you give that to a man a little bit later, honestly, he's going to think, oh, the balloon guy gave me something that a woman would have. I know it sounds silly, but I do this every month and... I slowly learned these things. So once again, never give a man, or sorry, never give a woman something that you can give a man. Definitely, that's the truth. <clears throat> Another thing that I have learned, and I know some balloon people disagree with this, but this is what I do. Never make a hat for a woman. Never. There's two types of women that will wear a hat. Ten and younger, or intoxicated, as in drunk. You can use that line every place you go. The women will shake their head up and down. If you put a balloon hat on their head, they're going to kill you. That's the end of it. You can always make a man a hat and you can put it on his head because his wife will say, wear the hat and he's going to. That's enough for adult balloon twisting right now. I'll try to add a little bit more in the future videos because to be honest, Adult balloon twisting can be a lot of fun and they tend to book you on times that you're not normally booked. Okay, thanks a lot.